Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to my channel, my name is Alberto. In this video, I'll demonstrate how I turned a pig's head into three different treats. Get ready to learn how to make guanciale from the cheeks. Extremely spicy induya from the rest of the head meat. Ah, that's spicy. A delicious Korean cabbage pancake with the cheek muscle. And finally, a trophy for my window of death. Trust me, it's easier than it sounds and the flavors out of this world. Quick disclaimer, if you're a bit squeamish, don't watch this video. So now we need to butcher this head. For that, we need a super sharp knife and we just need to follow the bone. We got the two cheeks now for the guanciale and the muscles of the cheeks right here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and just scrape it a bit to get rid of some impurities. And also if there's some small hairs left, this will take care of that. No. Once I was done cleaning the cheeks, I removed the remaining meat from the skull. This will be used later on to make induya. I'm just gonna vacuum seal this because I don't think I'll be able to do this today. Once you have your guanciale all clean and ready, the first thing we need to do is to weigh it. 508 grams. So then we go to the calculator. 500% times four is 20 grams. So that one. And this one, 476% times four, 19. If you spill salt, it's very important to throw it over your right shoulder. It's very bad luck to spill salt. You spilled the salt! So from one pig's head, we managed to get two pieces of guanciale. About one kilo of meat for the nduya and two cheek muscles for the cabbage pancake. I managed to get most of the meat off. There's still some left there, but it was impossible to get it off. I'm no butcher. I'm just a simple man trying to clean a pig's head. But now to get this looking like this, like Benny here, we need to boil it and just chuck it in there. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit, but I don't have a bigger pan. So I guess I'm just gonna boil it for one hour, flip it, boil it for one hour, and then we'll see what happens. Now back to the guanciale. Okay, so the guanciale has now been vacuum sealed with the salt and I'm gonna leave them in the fridge for 48 hours. See you then. So it's been 48 hours now. The salt has now penetrated the meat. What we need to do now is to put this in ice cold water to remove some excess salt. And while we wait for that, we're gonna prepare the spice mix. We're gonna need salt, sugar, black pepper, chili, and sweet sicily seeds. An hour has passed. Remove the cheeks from the water and pat them dry. Sprinkle over the spice mix and make sure that you get it everywhere so it doesn't mold. So this guanciale is now gonna hang here for about a month. Maybe if it's during the summer, you might wanna have a net around it so the flies can't reach it. Now it's still springtime, so I think it's fine. And it's close to my window, so the air circulates a lot here. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for 30 days. Okay, so that's everything prepared for the guanciale. The skull here is almost ready. All the meat is uh, removed. 
and some of the teeth fell off during the boiling. I'm gonna super glue them back in place. So it's been about 16 days now since I hanged the guanciale and it's time to check it out. I think it's done. The original plan was to wait 30 days, but I kind of felt it the other day and it felt done. So let's check it out. Knife. Oh yeah, that's a knife. <laughs> that's all fat, man. Now for the cheek muscle. We're gonna simmer them slowly in some beef fat for about two hours on a medium low heat. In the meantime, chop some cabbage and green onions. In a bowl, we're going to whisk two eggs, a splash of water and some soy sauce. Gradually add flour until it looks like this. After that, we're gonna add the cabbage and the onions. After about two hours, the cheek muscles are ready. Smash them up and add them to the mix. Pour some of the beef fat into a pan and then add the mix. Topping-wise, you can let your imagination flow. I had some mayo, pickled ginger, green onions, and some sesame seeds. Now for the nduja. Nduja is a spreadable chili salami from the region of Calabria in the south of Italy. Some say that it's the miso paste of Italy. Traditionally, after making guanciale, the remaining meat of the pig's head is turned into nduja, which is exactly what's gonna happen now. Now that the meat is grinded, we're gonna weigh it to see how much salt we need. On the calculator, we're gonna go with 547, 1% is 5.47 times 4, 28.88 grams. So we got the meat ready, the salt is weighed. All we need to do is to take down this chili. I bought these chilies from a man in uh, Tropea. He basically demanded us to try his olives. Now I need to make a paste out of this. I'm gonna scrape down the sides a bit. And the crossfeed and the pineapple spread. You okay, man? You 
better to go. <coughs> ah, this is some spicy chili, man. Way too spicy. Ah. Okay, so in this bowl now, I'm going to add the salt. Give that a good mix. Now I'm gonna add the chili. Let's do 150 grams. You don't wanna rub your eyes now. You can see the meat is changing color now. Now I'm gonna transfer it to this piping bag. Sort of shake it down like that. I did it! I think it looks very good. The next step would be now to go outside in the garden and smoke it. Okay, I have got some aluminum foil here. Now I'm gonna pour some of these uh, wood chips inside here. And just completely burn it. This is some uh, sage. Now we just place it in here and quickly cover it with all the vents closed. Now we're going to leave it like this for maybe half an hour, come back, check, maybe smoke it up again until we're happy basically. It's now been more than a half an hour, let's check it out. Give it another half an hour. Okay. There we have it. I'm not gonna leave it here. Obviously, I have a cat. I'm gonna hang it by the light, I think for 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, I'm gonna hang it in the fridge. All right. In the end, then do you hang for two days in room temperature and 29 days in the fridge. Definitely smells like Anduja. The Anduja wasn't as spreadable as I wanted. I think it's because I didn't have the right part of the intestine. The store-bought Anduja is made with the appendix. Even though it wasn't perfect, I was super proud of my creations. Okay, that's right. Hot. 
Mm. <coughs> <coughs> ah, that's spicy. Whew. That's why they call it Calabrian Viagra. It's spicy to a point that it hurts, but doesn't kill you. This on a pizza or in a pasta or on whatever. This takes your dish to another level. Ah, that's spicy. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Take care. Ciao.